Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, you might remember the XTEC EX505 multimeter I reviewed in the $100 shootout. Now, at the time, I promised that I'd do some further testing on this because, well, it's above and beyond your ordinary multimeter because it's shock and waterproof, or so they claim. Now, if you take a look at the front here, there it is, IP67, and that last digit, the seven, means that it's capable of surviving, supposedly, uh, one meter of immersion in water for 30 minutes. Hmm, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Absolutely, Kenyan road trip time. Let's beat the hell out of this thing. <laughs> We're up for another canyoning trip, and we've got the XTEC EX505 meter, and we're going to beat the crap out of it. Different canyon this time, Twister Rocky. Come and join us. Might as well just toss it in. What the hell? We've got to go into the canyon eventually. Into the creek <laughs> it goes. It floats. That's a good start. Let's do the crap bush like this. <laughs> You're on show and smile. <laughs> I don't want to be on the intercept. <laughs> and we're heading into Twister Canyon. There it is. We're about to jump in. Let's go. Here we go. The X Tech. Yeehaw! Don't, don't catch, let it go in. Here we go. Come on, boom. And the meat is going for a slide. Let's go. And it made it. Currently 16 degrees in the air. Got it? Alright, let's throw it in and see what we get. It's going down. Hey, that's pretty warm. That's pretty darn warm today. 14.2 degrees. I was surprised. I thought it was 12 or 13 tops, but no. 14.3 and going up. There you go. Great day for canyoning. Love it. <laughs> Into the canyon. <laughs>
Look at the end of the canyon we go. He can only use it as a paddle. That's the way. Oh, we're at the exit. There you go. That's the end of Rocky Creek.
check it out. It still survives. Amazing. <laughs> Been all the way through Rocky Creek. Not a problem. Love it. And I'll join them. Coming back out of the canyon, meter still works. Unbelievable, not a problem at all. Here it goes. Woo! There we go. All survived the entire trip no worries at all couldn't destroy it at all so I think we're gonna to have to ramp it up in the drop test well the meter might have survived but can't say the same thing for my leg well the canyon couldn't kill it and we're going to do the drop test next but let's try the car test shall we come on let's give it a go <laughs> it's full of sand and crap, but will it work? <sighs> Let's try it out. Oh, still works. Beauty. And we're back in the lab, and here's the meter after going through the canyon and being run over. Uh, you can see the curvature in the, you can see the depression there in the case where, where the tires actually ran over the thing. It's great, but it's still, oh, the uh, range switch, there's like dirt embedded in the range switch, but it still seems to, uh, still seems to power up. So let's check it out. Oops, it looks like something's happened to the input, the positive input socket. Look, I'm shorting the probes out here, I'm on ohms range, and I've really got to depress this uh, contact down here, the input probe, to actually get the thing to measure. So, it still works, but yeah, there's probably a crack in the solder joint on that input connector. We'll have to open it up and check it out. And there it is reading against a reference voltage here. I'm really trying to put pressure on this input socket, but it's still within spec. So it looks like it's still functional, except for this input jack here. And there's an up-close shot of just the dirt and the gunk sort of in it. And on the backside here, it's really... Um, I can't even get that, that uh, tilting bale out. It's just... all the dirt is just pressed in there. There's no water in the battery compartment at all, so let's crack it open and see what we get. Here we go. It looks... It looks pretty good. There's no water ingress at all. Uh, no obvious signs of damage at all. Um, this, is the, uh, this is the one with the dodgy link in it, by the way. Uh, so, yeah. It looks like it survived, no problems at all. Now, if you take a look at this green PTC here, you will see that uh, it's almost, this leg here is almost touching this input jack. It's like 
Ah, oh, it's less than a millimetre. It's, it's, I'd say it's borderline touching that damn thing. And that's, well, if it, in the case of a uh, PTC, which is a low resistance uh, anyway, unless a fault condition occurs and then it goes um, open. But that really just, uh, so during normal operation, that's not going to cause a problem. But um, during fault conditions, that of course is, you know, that PTC, may, you know, is just not going to work if this thing's shorten out to that jack. And that's what can happen when you've got piss poor uh, construction uh, technique with just the leads hanging around. Now we saw that in the um, uh, teardown and the review and I, I said it might be a problem. And sure enough, after being beat around, this thing has moved and that leg's almost touching. It's crazy. Now, uh, the problem with the input jack, I'm not quite sure what it actually is because the solder joint down in there is fine and it's got this nice uh, lock nut with um, star washer on the top so there's no contact problems there so it really must be like an internal contact thing inside the uh, jack itself maybe it's just some dirt and grit or something in there yeah it's definitely something inside the actual uh, jack down in here now I've taken off the lock nut and the star washer um, so it's got this uh, screw thread coming through at the bottom here as you can see like that and this is a very tight fit this uh, input probe here and we'll try and we'll, we'll probe this so it's making good contact in there I have no doubt and you know not a problem but if I start to wiggle this red probe a bit it really does jump around quite a bit so there's something going on inside that input jack I'm not sure what and I won't bother dissecting it but yeah that's, um, well, essentially that's a, a fail, really, after going through the canyon, because uh, if your input jack doesn't work reliably, reliably then your meter's not going to work. But uh, granted, it um, may not have been the canyon, it was probably because it was run over with the damn car. But of course we couldn't physically destroy it, so it's time to ramp it up and go to the drop test. To be continued.